Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 3.1 sums of natural numbers. 3.1 represents Chapter 3, Section 1 of the Corpio 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. This symbol over here represents the summation from r equal 1 to n of ur. Basically, the summation from the first term up to the nth term. This is equal to u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus dot 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 plus un. The summation from r equal 1 to n of 1 is given by 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 1. The upper limit of the summation is n, so we have n lots of 1. This simplifies to n times 1, which simplifies to n. The set of natural numbers is denoted by this symbol. It is the set consisting of positive whole numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers is given by the summation from r equal 1 to n of r is equal to a half n lots of n plus 1. Consider the sum from u1 up to un. I want to work out the sum from uk up to un. This is denoted by the summation from r equal k to n of ur. To work out this summation, I can take the summation from u1 up to un, subtract the summation from u1 up to uk minus 1. So if I formalize this, I have the sum from r equal k to n of ur is equal to the summation from r equal 1 to n of ur, take away the summation from r equal 1 to k minus 1 of ur. Now let k be a constant. The summation from r equal 1 to n of k lots of ur is equal to, I can take the k outside the summation, so I've got k lots of the sum from r equal 1 to n of ur. The summation from r equal 1 to n of ur plus vr is equal to the summation from r equal 1 to n of ur plus the summation from r equal 1 to n of vr. These are the key facts of 3.1 sums of natural numbers. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is the first exam style question. Part A show that the sum from r equal 1 to k of 4r minus 5 is equal to 2k squared minus 3k. Okay, so in part A, we have the sum from r equal 1 to k of 4r minus 5. We can split this into the sum from r equal 1 to k of 4r, take away the sum from r equal 1 to k of 5. The 4 we can take outside the summation, so this is equal to 4 lots of the sum from r equal 1 to k of r take away the sum from r equal 1 to k of 5. So we have four lots of the sum of the first k natural numbers. The sum of the first n natural numbers is given by a half n multiplied by n plus 1. We can replace the n's with k. So we have that this simplifies to four lots of a half k multiplied by k plus 1 in bracket. Take away, we can open up the summation. We have 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 5. The upper limit of the summation is k, so there are k terms in this sum. 4 times a half is just 2, so we have 2k multiplied by k plus 1 in bracket. Take away, this simplifies to k lots of 5, which is 5k. Expand the bracket. I get 2k squared plus 2k minus the 5k. Ladies and gents, this simplifies to 2k squared minus 3k as required. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. Find the smallest value of k for which this summation is more than 4850. We know that this summation simplifies to 2k squared minus 3k. So I can write down 2k squared minus 3k has to be more than 4850. I need to take 4850 to the left hand side. So I have 2k squared minus 3k minus 4850 has to be more than 0. I'm going to work out the critical values for k. So I need to solve 2k squared minus 3k minus 4850 equal to 0. Okay, so there are two solutions. These are k equal to 50 and k equal to minus 97 over 2. Now I'm going to draw a quadratic graph.
So I've got minus 97 over 2 over here. This is the origin and I've got 50 over here. Okay. So my graph will look something like this. I need to shade more than zero. So I need to shade this part of the curve and this part of the curve. And this corresponds to k is less than minus 97 over 2 or k is more than 50. Now k is a term number. So k can't be negative. We have to reject this inequality. We have to accept this inequality. And also a term number cannot be decimal. You can't have 10.1 term or 10.2 term, etc. So if k is more than 50 and we want to work out the smallest value of k, we know that k equal 51 will be the smallest value of k. This completes the first exam style question. Here is the second exam style question. Part A show that the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of 4 minus 5r is equal to minus 1 lots of 2k plus 1 in bracket multiplied by 5k plus 1 in bracket where k is greater than or equal to 0. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So I've got the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of 4 minus 5r. I can split this into the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of 4 take away the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of 5r. So I've got the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of 4 minus, I can take the 5 outside the summation, so I've got 5 lots of the sum from r equal 1 to 2k plus 1 of r. Let's open up the summation, so I've got 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 4. Since the upper term of the summation is 2k plus 1, we have 2k plus 1 terms. Minus 5 lots of the sum of the first 2k plus 1 natural numbers. Now the sum of the first n natural numbers is given by a half n multiplied by n plus 1. So I'm going to be replacing the n's with 2k plus 1. So I've got 5 multiplied by a half in bracket 2k plus 1, open square bracket, in bracket 2k plus 1, plus 1, close square bracket. So over here I've got 2k plus 1, lots of 4. So that would be 4 multiplied by 2k plus 1, minus 5 over 2, multiplied by 2k plus 1 in bracket, multiplied by 2k plus 2 in bracket. So I can expand this bracket. This gives me 8k plus 4. Then I've got minus 5 over 2. Expand the double bracket. 2k times 2k is 4k squared. 2k times 2 is 4k. And then 1 times 2k is 2k. And 1 times 2 is just 2. Further simplify this. So I've got 8k plus 4 minus 5 over 2 in bracket 4k squared plus 6k plus 2. Expand this bracket over here. So I've got the 8k plus 4. And then if I expand this, I get the following result. Minus 10k squared, minus 15k, minus 5. So I can further simplify this. I'll just continue over here. Equal to, I've got minus 10k squared, Okay, so I can cross that off. Then I've got 8k minus 15k. I can cross that off. That gives me minus 7k. Then I've got 4 take away 5. Cross that off. Minus 1. Right, I can take out a factor of negative 1. So in bracket, I've got 10k squared plus 7k plus 1. And then I can factorize this one over here into double brackets and if I do this I get 2k plus 1 and 5k plus 1 as required. 
This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. So part B, hence evaluate the sum from R equal 1 to 25 of 4 minus 5R. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution to part B. Firstly, notice that we have a 4 minus 5R here and we have a 4 minus 5R here. The only difference is the upper term of that summation is 2K plus 1 and the upper term of that summation is 25. So I'm going to begin by working out the value of K by setting 2K plus 1 equal to 25. So I've got 2k is equal to 24, hence k is equal to 12. Right, so now I need to evaluate the summation from r equal 1 to 25 of 4 minus 5 r. This is equal to exactly what we have here from part a, but we need to substitute k equal 12. So I've got minus, open square bracket, 2 lots of 12, plus 1, close square bracket, open square bracket, 5 lots of 12, plus 1, close square bracket. So if I put this into my calculator, I get minus 1,525. Moving on to part C of the exam style question, find the value of the sum from R equal 1 to 15 of 5R minus 4. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution to part C. Ladies and gents, in part C we have the sum from r equal 1 to 15 of 5r minus 4. I want to introduce a 4 minus 5r within the summation. To do this, I can rewrite the summation as follows. The sum from r equal 1 to 15, factorize, take out a negative 1, so we've got 4 minus 5r in the bracket. Now that negative 1 is a constant, I can take it outside the summation, so I've got minus 1 lots of the sum from r equal 1 to 15 of 4 minus 5r. Now I'm going to set 2k plus 1 equal to 15. So 2k plus 1 equal 15, 2k is equal to 14, hence k is equal to 7. So I've got minus, <coughs> another minus here, open square bracket, two lots of, I'm going to substitute k equals 7, plus 1, close square bracket, open square bracket, five lots of 7, plus 1, close square bracket. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 540. This completes the exam style question and this teaching video 3.1 sums of natural numbers. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.